Hey everyone, it's great to be back. So here are my top three games that are available now on SideQuest. Aim XR. This is a great game with a good Discord community. There's only a few levels in this game and the idea is just to keep blasting and dying. Not much to do obviously, but really really good fun and really really well done and loads of playability in this. This is one that I keep playing over and over again. Battle Talent Who doesn't like roaming around procedurally generated dungeons, killing skeletons and goblins? This is still one of my favourite games even though I've been playing it for over a year. It is regularly updated and has a great sandbox mode for playing around in. I just hope they bring multiplayer soon. If you're going to download any of those games on this list, this is probably the one I would choose the best. Hybo. This used to be one of my favourite games, and I still pop back occasionally. Launch yourself around different zones battle royal style with lots of weapons and play modes, and monthly battle passes as well, so it's not too late to get in early and start practicing before this game goes mainstream. Open Brush. There are a couple different versions of Tilt Brush, and any of them are worth downloading. This is just the one that I picked first. Suitable for adults or children who just want to do something a little bit fun and creative on the quest. Pentapuzzle. Chill out with this simple puzzler. This really stands out from the crowd because of the audio and the soundtrack with it. It's very very subtle but this is best played with headphones on on a Sunday afternoon whilst chilling out. Cybercade. This has been around a while now but it's still a great game, especially the two player mode. It's that perfect mix of 90s arcade shooter with a futuristic neon setting. Great for you and a friend to blast through on a Friday night. Project Terminus. Prepare to fill your pants with the smell of terror. This is a very atmospheric horror survival game. It's a great demonstration of what the Oculus can achieve. Well worth downloading, but don't blame me for the dry cleaning. Sail. Want to get your pirate on? Then this is a game for you. 
This is a fun little game that gets better with every update. With loads to do already, this is well worth spending some time in and exploring the world that the developer has created. VR puzzle. I wanted to put puzzle in places, but the demo is no longer available, so this is a close second. If you want a good chill out game and enjoy putting together jigsaw pieces in a museum, then this hits all the marks. It has a good range of puzzles, which you can select different difficulties for. Well worth checking out. Gun Raiders, a great battle royale first person shooter with some cool weapons and a good player base, so there are always people online playing. With some different game modes and shop system akin to Fortnite, this is one which will potentially will get really big and popular, so well worth jumping in now whilst it's still quite small. Galaxy Force VR. This has been one of my staple games for over a year now. When you want some retro 2D spaceship flying with a ton of levels that get more and more challenging as you progress, and two different modes of play, and even a level editor, then this is the game for you. Agent Simulator is a mixture of the Matrix and Super Hot. This is a fun but difficult game that progressively gets harder and harder. I have no idea how many levels there are as I've never managed to complete it. There is one cool level where you fall out of a window and you have to shoot the agents as you fall. Really good fun. Gorilla Tag is just a great game for kids and adults alike. It has a really good community of players and is just such one of those simple games that's just loads and loads of fun. But please beware, this is a good workout, so be prepared to sweat a lot. Help yourself. This interesting puzzle shooter is a clever play. You have to mess around with time and position so that you can use earlier versions of yourself to complete the level. Moon Riders. This is a browser based game so you can't download the app, you just literally go into the browser, type in the web address and this will bring it up and then you can select the VR mode. This is basically Beat Saber but a little less polished but has some really really great music and some different types of play modes.
thanks for watching. Any side quest games you feel should have made the list, let me know and any other comments pop them below and it would be awesome if you would subscribe and help this channel grow. New content is coming weekly, so have a good one everyone and see you later. Thank you.